Well, this painting was selected for um, the second Danielle of Palermo. It is into the belly of the beast. Here's the this Okanagan artist may have been painting for most of her life, but it wasn't until just recently that Roberta Grucock has received international recognition. Probably not typical of most of the local artists. I think a lot of people are painting landscapes, orchards, um, the scenery, uh, apples, and that sort of thing. My art's contemporary abstract. She says she was really discovered in June of this year through social media by an international curator, Salvador Russo. And from there, he invited me to um, submit to uh, the Benyel in Palermo, Italy. It's the biggest art festival in Europe and they chose two of my pieces. From there, things really started taking off for me. I didn't have to submit to the Eiffel Tower. They just selected me to be a part of an international art show, and I just got back from that last week. It was there she was awarded by Salvador Dali's son, Jose Van Roy Dali. Now she has been selected to have a solo show at the Amsterdam Whitney Gallery in New York, as well as receive her Master of Arts. And here at home, she is featured in the Kelowna Art Gallery in the Power of Women Past, Present and Future exhibition. As well, she has her own studio in West Kelowna. I'm beside the Rose Valley Veterinarian Clinic Hospital. It is um, graciously provided by Dr. Oz, the vet. Um, the studio is interactive here. I'm painting most days and if I'm not here, I'm available. To see more of Grucock's work and to meet with her personally, she'll be hosting an open house on November 15th from 7 to 10, located next to Rose Valley Veterinary Clinic on Westlake Road. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.